With the coronavirus pandemic wreaking havoc on Americans' health and jobs, worker protections are absolutely essential. But under Trump, the agencies meant to protect workers' health and safety, like the Department of Labor, the CDC, and the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, are taking new measures that drastically weaken protections for millions of Americans. Let's look at some headlines. The second coronavirus relief bill promised paid sick and expanded paid family and medical leave for coronavirus-related illnesses and closures. But after the law was passed, the Department of Labor issued a rule excluding millions of workers from the benefit, including 9 million healthcare workers and more than 4 million first responders. And the Department of Labor gave businesses with fewer than 50 employees the authority to exempt themselves from providing paid leave provisions. This would exempt up to 96% of businesses that the law applies to. The CDC reversed guidance for essential workers exposed to coronavirus, allowing asymptomatic workers to continue working and potentially exposing others to the virus. And OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, announced that employers won't be required to investigate or even keep records of COVID-19 related illnesses. Employers have long been required to investigate other illnesses and injuries to determine if they're work related. But the Trump administration has decided that COVID-19 just doesn't need to be tracked. This not only leaves workers with fewer protections, it will likely make the public health crisis worse. At a moment when Americans desperately need workplace safety and access to benefits like paid leave, Trump's executive agencies need to start expanding those protections and stop undercutting them for millions of workers.